Hey, you guys, this is going to be part two of the All Signs reading, whatever comes out. I know we ended on Leo. Uh, Leo's wasn't quite finished, so I will just um, do a short message for Leo, and then we'll do Virgo through Pisces. Okay, you guys, um, I'm open for personal readings. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can donate to the channel. Follow me on all my social media. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please be clear on this message. for our zodiac signs, close our doors, no negativity, sneak in. Return to sender, man, no negativity, no openness, no against me, shall prosper. Please be clear on this message. For our please, zodiac signs. Okay. What was going on for Leo? Whatever. And this is whatever comes out, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Um. And welcome new viewers and subscribers. Thank you guys for liking the video. Thank you for subscribing. Okay, Leo. We have the Queen of Raphael. Follow your heart and love. I'm sorry. Follow your heart. This is the Queen of Cups. Kind, understanding, giving. You could be a psychic. So follow your heart. There is a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So you guys might be receiving clarity, some trustworthy information. You guys are um, being told to trust your heart. Home and family is very important during this time. Leo, this is whatever comes out. My deck is reversed. Okay. I'm not reading reversals. Let's see the king of cups. That's not what I was looking at. Okay, blocking out negativity. I'm glad. Okay, ten of swords. There's something or someone that hurt you really bad. You're ignoring them. You're trying to ignore the toxicity. You're trying to um Block out the negativity at all costs. This could be somebody you really, really loved. A friend, a family member who you have to keep, you know, at a distance. They hurt you. You know, I'm telling you, this is somebody that had a piece of your heart. You two are no longer speaking. It could be a Virgo. This person is no longer talking to you. You still have feelings for this person. This person might still have feelings for you. We have the King and Queen of Cups. They're not facing each other. It could have been somebody that got in the mix. Another feminine energy <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me why the devil come out for leo ten of wands this toxicity only caused you burdens stress chaos and now you're being told to work through this baggage and release it you might be too scared to follow your heart Especially falling in love again seems so scary. What's the Seven of Wands? Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're blocked off. Your heart chakra is blocked off. And look, we have uh, green here. Isn't that the color of the heart chakra? Green? Queen of Raphael. Kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. You might not be experiencing that right now because you're not able to follow your heart. Your heart chakra is not open. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Six of Wands. So many people betrayed you. It's like you feel like you don't have any friends. You don't have any uh, support. Friends betrayed you. Family betrayed you. Lovers betrayed you. It's, it's like people. You need healing from people. Yeah, and you just want to do solo things. Okay, I feel like Spirit is telling you to follow your heart. There are going to be people who are for you that are going to enter your life. Be healed. That way you don't um, wind up accidentally, you know, hurting the people who love you genuinely. Fire, um, Capricorn, Earth, fire, Leo, fire. So Aries, Leo, Sag energy, air. We saw Virgo as well. Thank you for liking the video. That was for Leo. Come on, Virgo. What messages are coming out for you, Virgo? Five of Gabriel. So this looks like, let me see, a challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. This looks like, the Five of Gabriel looks like the Five of Wands. 
this challenge you can resolve it virgo so withdraw from drama don't let people drag you into their drama virgo have patience with yourself and have patience with people around you okay and then we have the hangman also known as perspective it's all about perspective virgo all right All right, could be an Aries, a masculine energy, a father figure, a boss, and you you possibly, it could be a power struggle. Yeah, a lot of Aries energy. It's, it looks like a power struggle. Somebody is like, okay, I want you to do it clean, cut, and dry like this, but you might be like, no, nah, I'm going to do it my own way. I have my own vision on how I want to do whatever this is that's cultivating prosperity, um, pouring money, time, energy into yourself, nurturing. This is a love situation. You two are on the outs right now with the Five of Pentacles. This cycle has closed. And you might not be feeling too good about this. So what I'm already hearing, you're arguing with people, you're argumentative with people, you're frustrated with people, people are walking on eggshells with you, you're angry, you're upset, you're sad, because you don't have the love that you want, okay? This challenge can be resolved. You're either going to make up with this person or you're going to heal and move on, Virgo. But I see you in this stoic energy pretending like everything's okay. But the five of pentacles, you feel empty inside. You want to take you. This is what you want to do. I just said, no, I want to do it. I want to do it my own way. This is how I want to do it. You want to take a leap of faith on love. Do you have the stability to be able to open this new cycle or will you let it end? <coughs> it's all about perspective. <coughs> I feel like something just flew in my damn throat. Whoa. All right, fortune cookie for Virgo. Perseverance. You may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead, so don't give up. You might feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Virgo, don't give up. Don't give up. Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Earth, Air, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Water, Earth. Thank you for liking the video. Moving on to Libra. All right. Whatever comes out for Libra. Ten of Michael. This represents the Ten of Cups. Hold on. Let me make sure. I think it's actually the Ten of Swords. These cards, I know y'all, just bear with me. The situation has ended. You are finally free. Yeah, this is the Ten of Swords. There are new opportunities for happiness that will follow you now. This, this thing that you need to put in the past, put that behind you. The sooner you put it behind you, the better, okay? It's going to work out for you. The quicker it's going to work out for you. The situation has ended. It's time for you to realize that. You are finally free. So some of y'all might still be keeping yourselves caged in. Judgment. Okay. Time to really let some things go. Let some things in. But you might still be holding on. Keeping that door open. The toxicity. It's really like the, the angel versus the devil on your shoulder. And it could have to do with love. Who you're attracted to. Who... who um. Just people that are in your energy as well. This is all about happiness. It's time for you to be happy now. But there are some toxic things, people, situations that you are choosing that get in the way of you being happy. It gets in the way of you finally moving forward. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Libra, what y'all got going on? opportunities libra 
there are opportunities for the with this new phase and new cycle coming an important offer will be made be prepared and dress to impress be prepared libra okay let yourself be free let yourself be happy libra all right thank you for liking the video moving on to scorpio all right we have the page of ariel okay reliable clever educated and balanced an excellent opportunity will be offered to you scorpio scholarships money pursuits of education it's time to get to work so this is the page of pinnacles okay i'm liking it five of cups you could be crying over spilled milk but this new opportunity is going to help you it's going to give you a pick me up yeah it's going to make you happy time to pick up your emotions get your emotions under control a lot of water deep in emotions deep in feelings okay being sad but i feel like you're still trying to be hopeful no longer trying to cry over spilled milk but this this five of cups shows me like okay these things didn't work out over here, but I haven't considered this right here. So there's some type of insight, some type of news communication that's going to really help you here. We got the six of swords. You could be traveling for work, seeing a lot of water. Why is the king and queen of cups here? A new relationship or friendship that's going to... Somebody could just be apologizing to you, honestly. Or you could be apologizing to somebody. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is apologizing to you, giving you some type of offer or communication. Somebody that you really miss and that you really love. You might not have seen this person in a long time. It could be a friend, family member, co-worker. Okay, you, your baby mom or baby dad, some type of family. We got the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody you're in some type of connection with. So there's an excellent opportunity that will be offered to you, Scorpio. This could be going back to school, money, love, okay? You guys could be going back to school, getting your education. It's time to get to work. So time to get out of your feelings and get to work and working on yourself, working on your shadow side and things like that, okay? We have tough and trying times. This could be what this five of cups is. Tough times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly, Scorpio. Avoid negative people at all costs. Avoid negative people, okay? Because I'm seeing you're very sensitive during this time. A lot of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Earth, Air, Fire as well. Thank you for liking the video. All right, moving on to Sagittarius. Epiphany. Archangel Raziel, joy through spiritual growth. You could be done with the Leo. Be light to others. Be kind to others. Answers that come through meditation. So you guys are really receiving epiphanies, insight, um, signs, synchronies. Okay. What's coming out? Okay, four of pinnacles. Okay, so what are you guys holding on to, not letting go of? Okay, I feel like you guys are trying to stay positive. What's, but there's a decision or road that you need to uh, take. Or maybe possibly just consider. Okay, just opening up for insight. Okay, what's the Four of Pentacles about? Something, let me see joy through spiritual growth so this four of pinnacles is you could be stuck in one place spirit is trying to get you to grow and open but growth isn't always happy and fun it could hurt sometimes the spirit really wants some things to really be over put the final nail in that coffin that way these things can't hurt you anymore they can't trigger you anymore yeah it's all about spiritual growth for you time to really start manifesting getting in your um you know, higher frequencies and things like that. That's all I'm seeing for you, Sag. Okay, I like it. 
Air, Earth, Sagittarius, Pisces, Gemini, Virgo. Okay, we have romance. Okay. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Okay, good. So if y'all gonna be in romantic connections, y'all can't be having that stuff trigger you the way it used to. All right. Thank you for liking the video. Moving on to Capricorn. Queen of Michael. This is the queen of swords. Okay. So you know exactly what you need to do, Capricorn. The benefit of experience. Yeah, you guys are very experienced, very seasoned. There's time for you. And there's time for your career rather than relationships. Okay, so right now you're just focusing on your career. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Just a clear-cut roadmap to what is going to lead you to happiness. How you want to grow and invest in certain things and really take control of your life. It's all about the money for you. Three of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. And people are going to see you stunting in your new car, stunting in your new house. Something with your new man, uh, managerial position, okay? Right now, you you just know exactly what you need to do. The Queen of Swords came out again. Just more clarification. Very brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, and humorous. Okay, I like it. You know exactly what you need to do right now. Earth, water, Aries, fire, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Not Taurus, Scorpio. But, yeah, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, since I was going to say it. But um, Capricorn, Virgo. Taurus. All right. Thank you for liking the video, Capricorn. We're moving on to Aquarius. All right. Strength. Look at you. Y'all could be dealing with the Leo. Aquarius, call on your strength. Archangel Ariel, call on Archangel Ariel. Time to be strong. Stronger than you've never been before. Strength and grace through kindness. Some of y'all might have been through some things to where you can't be kind no more. You being kind only got you heartbreak. Self-confidence and forgiveness. Oh, wow. This is deep. This is deep, Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is one of the signs that gets done wrong. Y'all are so loving. Y'all are so kind. Y'all are so bubbly. And y'all really just... When an Aquarius love you, they love you completely, totally, and fully. There's going to be some type of communication or travel. I hear possibly some of you a delay in regards to some opportunity. You might not be satisfied with it. Okay. But I think this is actually going to turn out better than what you expected. Things are really coming together for you, being balanced. Like things are working out for you in tremendous ways that you never even expected, Aquarius. Good news. Okay, you're taking some type of offer. It could be something legally. But you're moving to calmer waters, Aquarius. Being peaceful. I'm seeing you guys on this journey Okay, communicating, traveling, um, some type of delay, some type of halt, and you're taking some type of offer. This communication is going to help you give you your confidence back. You are, something is working out for you legally. Something is working out for you in regard to, you know, being able, this is not, this may not be easy for you, Aquarius, but you're using that strength that you have. And being kind and being loving and being forgiving. Be confident, Aquarius. I hear trial by fire. Trial by fire. Y'all could be going through trials and tribulations right now. But it's so much peace. Remain peaceful, loving. Because here you go, shining through it all. Aquarius, pressure make diamonds. That's what I hear. Pressure make diamonds. You're stronger than you think. You might feel like you're at your end. You might feel like you ain't going to be able to make it through, but you will, Aquarius. Trust me. Air, water, Aquarius, earth, Sagittarius, fire, air, fire, water, air, Libra, fire.
we have property, a property purchase or sale of many, but heed security concerns in any transactions, okay? Make sure you're doing transactions, you have high top security, okay? I love y'all. Last but not least, Pisces. Okay, we have the Six of Ariel. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job, Pisces. It's time to move on to the next project. There are awards, scholarships, or promotions waiting for you. This is the Six of Wands. Great job, Pisces. Great job. Keep going. Y'all been putting in that work. You guys are being acknowledged for it. In the spotlight. Some of y'all could have fire in your chart. Some of y'all could have Leo in your chart. Okay, seven of wands. Okay, it's like the six of wands and seven of wands. It's a lot of fire coming out here for you, Pisces. Six of pentacles. Okay, so some of y'all could really be Pisces. I see you guys are. I just keep seeing you in multiple places at the same time. So, so a lot of people might be needing your help. A lot of people might be needing your services. So the great thing is, is what I'm seeing is more clients. So I'm seeing you might have to do a lot of things all at the same time. Okay. And you're getting your rewards. You're getting money from it. So I like it. So finally, you're getting a return on your investment. People are calling you. I'm not sure what the seven of wands is about though. Make sure you, um, when you run a business, you don't take just any client. You don't. Yeah, Page of Cups. You don't take just any client. What I'm seeing is you might have been feeling like, okay, this is not working for me. I'm going to just stop doing this or whatever, whatever. I don't know what it is that you've been so resistant in doing or you've... I don't know, Pisces, but all I'm seeing is you're getting a return on your investment. Money's coming back to you. Money that's owed to you unexpected money we have the king and queen of pentacles so it could be a business partner if not you guys could be getting in some type of money relationship some of y'all could be subscribing to something that brings you revenue without you having to do anything some of y'all are contractors i'm hearing some of y'all travel for work i hear some of y'all work on the computer whatever it is congratulations you've done a wonderful job pisces and you can get some rest from this Okay, but like I was saying, not every client is a good client. Okay, because some of these clients really ain't got no common sense is what I'm seeing. Okay, if it's not a client, it's a person, place, thing, whatever. Don't let them have no access to your business. Okay, you don't shit where you eat, Pisces. This is what I'm seeing for you. Okay. Care required, Pisces. Guard yourself against deception. This is what the Seven of Wands is. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Be careful of making foolish, childish mistakes at this time. Really be careful. Care is required in this sensitive, important endeavor or person, relationship, whatever it is. Care is required. Don't just treat it any willy-nilly type of way. All right? I love y'all. Until I see y'all again, y'all be safe. Peace out.